Welcome to the Great Show of Greyhounds. My name is Brian. And I'm Heather. And today we're going to demonstrate how to trim all those nails with a grinding tool. So we decided to start using um, a Dremel tool to trim all his nails instead of using the clippers. We found her nails were getting brittle. She's almost 13 and so the clippers were kind of hurting. So we tried using the Dremel and we have loved it. All of it is much more relaxed while we're using it. All right, Heather, so how do you determine when her nails are too long and need to be ground down? We'll come closer and I'll show you. So you can see all his nails are real easy to tell where her quick is, which is nice. Um, her nails are a little bit longer than they should be right now. So this is the part that doesn't have the quick in it. And then here's where that kind of that blood supply starts. Now it does go a little bit past that. So we would never want to get all the way to the quick. For her, I just try and ground down a little bit, just get it a little bit shorter every time. And that way she's not getting stressed out. We try and just do quick sessions and just keep it relaxing for her. <laughs> So Olive seems pretty comfortable right now. Is laying down the position that you like to have her in when you're grinding down her nails? Yeah, we found that Olive couldn't stand the whole time it took us to grind down her nails. Um, so we experimented with laying down and found that as long as we keep the sessions pretty short, just grind them down a little bit, um, she's pretty relaxed for her pedicure. <laughs> what was that? Um, I think it tickles her, so she jumps back sometimes. <laughs> When you're grinding this down, like, do you worry about getting the quick and causing her foot to bleed? It's a lot easier to control how quick, how far down you go with this. Um, where the clippers, it's easy to actually clip too far back. But since this one, you're just grinding it slowly, um, you're, it's real easy to make sure you're not going to hit the quick on these. We found that Olive is more comfortable with us doing her nails if one of us is petting her as it allows her to take her attention off of her foot because she really doesn't enjoy this. They make grinding tools specifically for dog nails, but we just got this Dremel as it had multiple attachments for projects beyond trimming dog's nails. I can put an Amazon link in this video's description. And of course, no pedicure is complete without your nail polish. And now that we're done, Olive gets her treat out of the Tyrannosaurus cookie jar. Good girl. Yeah. Let me get all drooling. <laughs> hey, Star. Would you like a treat? You guys remember Star? She was our foster for about five months. She was the Greyhound that had been flown to us all the way from Texas, where she had been found running down a gravel road. She'd been living at rough for a while, so she was really underweight and her nails were crazy long. Well, Star really likes attention, and she told me that she wanted a little more screen time. So in the next episode of The Great Show of Greyhounds, I'm going to show some video of what she looked like from the day that we brought her home from the airport, as it's a really good example of what neglected nails look like. A link to that episode, as well as the previous, can be found over here. You can also watch any other episode at youtube.com slash greatshow. And you can subscribe to that YouTube channel with the link down below. Don't forget to follow us on social media at greatshow. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.